then the strength increased further. Then we also test the free flow resistance of these three samples. And the black line is the original mortar samples. And we find after 200 free flow cycles, the mass loss and the strength loss decreased very quickly. But for those mortar samples with fiber, with mask fibers and with the geo modified mask fibers, it withstands more free flow cycles. That means the fibers benefit the free flow resistance. The main, the main reason is that um, the fiber combined the concrete, the so mortar together when it start a uh, break. And then we did some uh, durability test, for example, the chloride uh, migration test. And we also uh, test the surface electrical resistivity. So this is also, this is uh, an indirect method to evaluate the chloride resistance. Um, and here is the original mortar sample. The performance is right here. Um, but when we add um, fibers, it's RCM, is called rapid chloride migration coefficient increased. That means the chloride resistance decreased. Um, but when we use GO to pre-treat the fibers, then the performance becomes better because it coefficient sorry, is chloride resistant increased. We, we can say uh, here we did some micro evaluations. Uh, here is um, micromorphology of these two selected samples. Um, mortar with um, non treated fibers and the mortar with geo treated samples. Um, from this picture, so we can find the some right part, the part, that is the unhydrated cement. And I will show it later. So, so from these two figures, we collect some information of element from the interface between the fibers and the concrete. And, and here is the information of elements. So from this result, we can find one way, after we add the graph on the side, the relative concentration of calcium increased and the relative concentration of alumina decreased. That means the graph Oxide will attract the calcium, but will repel the aluminum. Um, based on the relative concentration of these three elements, then we can calculate the more ratio of these two, uh, the calcium to silica more ratio and the calcium to silica plus alumina more ratio. These two more ratio are two very important indicators for two main hydration products in cement hydration. So uh, we can find after uh, using graph oxide to portray the fibers, the calcium to silica more ratio increased. That means, and so that means the degree, that means the degree of the polymerization of the hydrates increased. Um, and this result can also explain our pre previous results that the split, the split intensity strength increased and and many other um, benefited the strength of the performance. Um, so based on these two figures, the A and the F, so um, we use the BSC coefficient and then we separate the hydration products into four parts. The first one is the silica rate phase, and the second one is the CSH, and the third one is calcium rate Phase. And the third one, the first one is on hydrated cement. So um, we calculated the error of these 
four phase, and I summarize in these tables. And here we'll find after we adding graph on the side to penetrate the fibers, the unhydrated segment the content is decreased. That means and the graph on the side helped to accelerate the hydration. And based on the content of rich silica rich phase and the CSH phase and the calcium rich phase, we can also find the graph oxide also modified the hydration product in this cement hydration process. Here's the summary. <clears throat> so based on this work, we find that so we propose a promising strategy to upcycle those waste mask, and it works well to enhance many the performance of concrete. And and here graphene oxide is a promising candidate to treat the mask fibers, and it will also benefit the hydration of the cement. So our future work, we are focused on the other durability performance, just like surface attack and uh, surface scanning. So, sorry, because this is a short presentation, so I didn't tell a lot of det details. So if you have any questions, just send me an email. Thank you. Any question for Mr. Griffin Lee? No question. No question for the question is why does the CSH decrease after the GO5? Oh, it's a good question. Um, so that means graph on the side change the conversation in the hydration system of the cement and it's decreased it is the content of CSH decreased because it become to other phase maybe the calcium rich phase or the silica rich phase but so far I don't have um, details to show how it's changed and uh, Thank you for your presentation. My question has to do with uh, if you and if you said this at the beginning, I apologize for it. Was it uh, just a particular type of mask, uh, like N95? So I ran around with the top thing for a year. Which you quality control? You mean control the quality of of the mask? Um. So I think the chemical conversation are the same because they prepare the uh, mask follow uh, some standards. So I think the problem of the, for the quality control is how to propel fibers. And this is also our future work to optimize the fiber, maybe the size or the length. Actually, if I may to uh, clarify, uh, we mostly Uh, you mean compare this with traditional PP fiber compared? Yeah. And we have we haven't done it yet, but yeah, we will compare it later. It'll get the better. See, 
Yes, yes. But in the form in the aspect of the these are not put by the um actually there's some unpublished and not the published work in the academic field with this kind of so low quality by the actually benefit of fire with this huge uh that's the another you know uh so when you have a perspective you don't have it. So what interesting thing is uh well it was the available part of here was on micro parts when you sort of mentioned the 30 micro diameter that's basically half the size of your head and actually yeah your head is the 30 micro diameter so it's very fine this commercial product is very expensive very expensive so in other words the idea here is uh very less kind of strictly in this place you can generate really high value quality We have another question from one of the final audience. Mr. Sam um, Zinju. This question is one more question for you. Yeah. Say you have any comment on how the bonding strength between your fiber and matrix. The bond strength between your fiber and matrix. Can you say that again? Well, bond strength. Uh, wait. Between, fiber, between your fiber and matrix. So, so we didn't have the bond strength. Yeah. Yeah, I think the only way to explain this question is do a single fiber broad test. We will do it in the recent approach. I think this question is more between the same matrix and the fiber, not just the fiber itself. Yeah, yeah, but the single fiber broad test is going the single fiber broad test. Okay. Yeah. That's a good Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.